guys welcome back to my channel in 2023 the first video of the year coming to you and it's a request from kinder blue 7311 and they have requested me to make a beef pot pie i hope you enjoy this recipe and once again i'm going to leave all the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe right here let's get started Place a pan on a medium high heat and add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, start frying the meat up in batches. When it's nice and golden brown, I'm going to then add my bacon. I've got my diced vegetables here, which I'm going to toss in. It's half a cup of carrot, onion and celery each. Give it a good stir and then you can add one teaspoon of garlic, one tablespoon of tomato paste and you need to cook this out now for about five minutes. Now it's time to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And now all we need to do is add the beef stock along with our bay leaves and a sprig of rosemary. Place a lid on, turn the gas down really low, as low as you can get it. Or you could do this in the oven on 180 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'm doing mine on the stove top. And again, I'm gonna check it after 40 minutes on a very, very slow simmer. And once the meat is nice and tender, just remove the bay leaf and the rosemary stalk. And then we're gonna pour it into a tray because we wanna cool this down and refrigerate it overnight. And then it's gonna be ready for our pies the next day. I'm using a shop-bought short crust pastry for the base and a shop-bought puff pastry for the top. Along with some foil containers that I'm gonna bake my pies in. About a thumb around the edge Got to keep that distance around there so you've got a little bit of an overlap and just cut a circle around and do the same for the second pie. Removing the excess pastry, you can use this for more later. We're going to start lining these two pie tins now. Just give them a gentle spray with some olive oil spray. If you don't have olive oil spray, you could just use a little bit of olive oil on a brush. We're going to line both of these tins with the pastry and then we're going to put our filling inside. Now my short crust pastry has a slight overhang over the edge of the pie dish. There's a good reason for that and when I lay my top layer of puff pastry I'm going to be able to crimp them both together and form a really good solid seal so the filling doesn't spill out. Start filling the bases with your cold meat. Don't add it hot because the pastry will just melt and it'll go all soggy. And that's why we do the filling and put it in the fridge overnight. Now using the same method as we did before with the short crust pastry, we're gonna repeat this process with the puff pastry, leaving that edge around so you've got a little bit of a lip. And then it's a simple process of joining them both together. We're almost ready to put the puff pastry on the top but what I have done and I haven't shown you in this video is that I've brushed a little bit of water around the edge of the pie bases with the short crust pastry and that's going to glue the short crust pastry and the puff pastry together. Now all you need to do is put the puff pastry on top of the short crust pastry, give it a bit of a crimp all the way around till you come full circle and it's all glued together nicely. And with a sharp knife, make a little incision in the top of the pie to let the steam escape. Brush them with a little bit of egg wash. Then they're gonna go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius until they're golden brown. This may take about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. And once they come out of the oven in a nice and golden brown, you can see the base is beautifully cooked and the top is glazed beautifully. Just remove them from the foil containers, place them back onto the cooling rack and let them cool slightly. Now I'm gonna serve my pie with some beautiful bok choy and some asparagus and some gorgeous velvety mashed potato. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed this video, please slap a like on here, share it on your social media. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you next time. Bye for now.